A full trash bag may look like garbage, but it's business to one Monrovia man. For years, Eddie the Can Man has been walking busy streets to pick up cans on the highway. Glad to come I was wanting uh, something to do uh, to occupy my time. Plus, it was something nice to do. Plus, uh, it needs to be done, too. It's hard to find anyone in the Monrovia area who has not seen Eddie walking down the road. But it was one neighbor in particular who really made a difference. It was raining out. And I was concerned about him getting home, you know, in the rain, and it was getting dark, and so off him a ride. Brad serves as youth minister at the Monrovia Church of Christ. When he met the can man, he decided to offer a little help. I encouraged the kids to just take their piece of trash and throw it in a bag and bring it up to the church building and, and leave it there for him. That simple gesture turned into a community-wide effort. On Facebook, you can find a Cans for Eddie fan page where Eddie's neighbors can learn more about the can man. Members of the Monrovia Church of Christ and others in the community bring their Cans for Eddie here behind the church building. Right now, there are two drop-off points, one behind the Monrovia Church Building on Nance and Capshaw. The other is the sign and banner shop at 6995 Waltriana. They're doing a good job. I like them. I appreciate the job they're doing. His work ethic and to be drawn to the work like he is is what gives me the inspiration to help him because he doesn't ask for help. Brad estimates a month's worth of can collecting yields about 10,500 cans for Eddie. That adds up to about $250. That's money Eddie puts to good use. I take them and sell them and use them for different things. Okay. Bills and just other odd, and odd, odd things that come up. In Monrovia, Chase Gallimore, Way 31, First News.